with the state reopening, maybe you're among many returning or about to return to work for the first time in a long time. But reopening plans are literally all over the place. And that's where today in the Bay's Pete Serratos picks up the story. Pete, for some Bay Area companies, that return timeline seems a little staggered. Yeah, good morning to you, Sierra. And yeah, working remotely, especially in the tech world, has become the norm over the past 14 months. And at least right now, it looks like there's going to be this hybrid version moving forward. In fact, we took a look at some of the major tech companies in the area to see what they will be doing as the state officially reopens. Now, when it comes to sales, Salesforce, half of employees will continue to do remote work. Over at Google, it's going to be a hybrid model with three days in the office and two off-site for some of the employees. So about 60% of staff will be in office just a few days a week. And then over at Apple, it's going to be a hybrid model. Some folks working three days, others working up to four to five days. Now, we did speak with the executive director of the Tech Trade Association, SDOFS.City. Uh, she says a lot of tech companies are adopting this remote first mentality. In fact, the number that she gave us, she said only 10% of companies plan on going back to the nine to five model. To be completely honest, the majority of tech companies have already examined what a remote first environment would look like for their employees long before the pandemic. Um, so we have actually heard from a number of companies where they actually have been testing this out in different offices around the world for a while now. And it really just means that when employees come into the space, they don't necessarily have an office space or a desk with their name on it. It's more of a roaming model. Now, for the time being, the masks will stay on at work, but that could change soon with Cal OSHA voting Thursday on a proposal to allow vaccinated workers to go maskless while unvaccinated workers keep the masks on. But ultimately, mask requirements are still up to the workplace. Reporting live, Pete Serratos for Today in the Bay.